Okay, so here we have it. This is our 632 cubic inch twin turbo big block Chevy with our alien intake, billet valve covers, Nelson stainless headers, all the goodies. This is just featured in Hot Rod this month. And we are gonna, it's got our mirror image, symmetrical, patented NRE 88 millimeter turbochargers, one of our custom air to water intercoolers, and it is a beast. It really makes good power for a really extreme long power band. And it's actually bottoming uh, our dyno out, uh, you know. We hung weight on it, 1,752 foot pounds is the bottom of the dyno. So when you see that number, that's actually beyond, you know, it's just, it won't read any more than that. Um, so. The torque that you're seeing is actually quite a bit higher than you're seeing in the footage, but it's just a beast of a motor. I'm really proud of it, it came out insane. It's for Craig Monroe in Australia. He's gonna put it in a crazy ass four door race car. Uh, he has the uh, legend of try hard. He is one of the guys that the, owns the pump gas world record, uh, 1890 horse at the rear tire on pump gas. This guy uh, knows knows his shit, and it's gonna be a cool motor, cool addition to his deal. As you can see, our fuel system all built into the manifold. Our Deutsch one wire connector for the entire engine harness. Our Aviad dry sump system. I mean, this thing has got it. It is a kick-ass deal. So hope you enjoy it. Check it out. The Nelson Mirror Image Turbochargers.
Nice. <laughs> this is fucking sweetness. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Radical. But I can't see anymore. I was recording him. What guys want to do for horsepower, huh? This is what I want to show you about this right here, okay? This is like uh, fucking ridiculous for this kind of... Let's go back to the graph here. Okay, let's set it down and correct the torque here. Okay, so 4,300 RPM, it's making 1,200 foot-pounds. 1300, 1400, 1500, 1580, 1640. Now watch this 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. It's bottoming the strain gauge out right here. So it's actually, this is where the bottom of the strain gauge on the dyno. 47, 47, 51, 49, 47, 49, 48, 47, 47, 49. Fucking 1700 forever. And that's at 6700 RPM right there. 2227 horsepower. And it's only at 22.8 pounds of boost. Now that is fucking juicy. Let me tell you, that is juicy. That is awesome. Again, look at the fucking curve. Look at that fattiness of fucking torque. I mean, that is some juice torque. I mean, really, even down at 3,700, well, what do we got at 30? I can't even see that. Eight, 975 foot-pounds at 38. So for over almost 3,000 RPM, you're basically above 1,000 foot-pounds. And then from 5,000 up, you're 1,750 pretty much, almost the whole way. It's just fucking crazy, dude. Awesome. That is a sight you really never see. Symmetrical mirror image turbochargers. Look at those beastie boys. They are really something and they make sweet power. All right, so check it out. Here we got a, actually this is the one that you never see is the counter rotator. But I wanna show you some special things we did with the turbocharger itself. We cut the inlet flange back way back to where you could barely get it to where, just where the lathe could pick it up. And well, the reason why we did that is so you can pick up some extra room of getting a pipe around in a 
near your uh, radiator. We've also V-banded it so there's no rubber there. We V-banded it on the outlet right here. We V-banded both the center section and the exhaust section so they're rotatable but you don't have to do a, you know loosen a bolt, just loosen a V-band. We've got a speed sensor built into the turbocharger right there. V-band outlet also that do five inch, four inch comes with it. It's got a divided exhaust housing. Billet compressor wheel. Full ball bearing. I mean, it is the cat's meow of turbochargers. I'm very proud of them. And you can really see what they're doing on this motor. Australia, we've got this car called Tryhard, which a lot of people all know about. And um, anyway, we've decided to build another new car and go drag racing. We had a good look around the internet, you know, who was doing what. We looked at Tom Nelson's page, and uh, it was just blew my mind, you know, like just how simple and how easy everything goes together. Um, neat go. package. Look, one wiring, one wiring plug which is unbelievable compared to our last setup. So um, we're really looking forward to getting it back to Australia, which should be in the next couple of weeks, and uh, bolting it in. And Cameron's hoping not to ever have to touch it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simple and easy. No maintenance. Right on. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm honored, and I'm, I'm glad to uh, be a part of it. And, uh, you know, we are... Uh, Hopefully you guys are going to be running sixes and, and smiling all the way down the track. Sure we will. <laughs> so, all, right. all right, guys. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Bye. Thank you. We use C16 VP racing fuel on all the high boost pulls.